Hello everyone, welcome back to Knock Knock. If you watched the previous episode, then you already know what I'm about to do, but if you did not, if you skipped it, because you did not want to watch the uh, the replay through of it to get back to the point that I was originally at, try to beat the clock, if you didn't watch that, then let me just give you a very, very quick wrap-up. So as far as like new things I experienced, replaying through the game, there was actually very little. Almost nothing. I, I think the only new thing was a new enemy type. A very terrifying one that completely kicked my ass. And I think that's about it. Pretty sure that's about it, yeah. So there's nothing major. So I've gone as fast as possible. Gone back here. This is the day that I was never able to finish before. I'd walk out the front door and go crazy. This time, it looks like the clock is uh, advanced uh, forwards. I think I've completed the clock on this level now. Whereas before, I'm pretty sure it wasn't all the way forwards. So I think I'm done with that. However, the timer is still at the top of the screen. The bar is still there. So I'm still under the gun. I don't know, I don't know what I need to do. But I'm still under the gun. So I've just done the clock. The front door has just opened. And I'm about to run. Well, I can't run. But I'm about to go to the front door as fast as possible. To hopefully beat the clock. And hopefully I'm good. I don't know. Maybe I should check the entrance just one more time to make sure it's locked tight. Sure. I already know it's not locked, locked tight because it just opened. Hmm. I hope I have enough time left because I seriously only have like two minutes on my clock. These are not hallucinations. These footprints are real and they're not mine. Yeah, just look at, look at my timer up there. Top left. Top right. Almost nothing left. Shit, where do I need to go? I used to sleep right here. Wonderful. Of course, the front door is all the way over there. Softly, softly. Okay. I have, like, no time left. Let's go. Good, it's not a game over. I still have, like, no time left, so... I'm not... Oh my god, what is that? I'm not searching for the girl, not searching for anything. I'm going to the home now. Now. Right now. Come on, I have minutes, minutes. I hope this is the end, because if I have to survive another night with the timer going, I won't, I can't, it's impossible. No way, I do not have enough time to survive another night. Come on, come on, come on. The good thing is, since I have some of my timer left at this day, when I restart the day, ooh, there she is. When I restart the day, I might be able to, I might still have my timer. Ooh, new video? No, I've seen this one before. I have no idea what any of that means. As always, though, incredibly beautiful and strange art. Still need to find my home, like now. Some believe what they see, others see what they believe. The world is light and our mind is an elaborately patterned screen. It only lets through what it can perceive. But no, if it were really so, then we would all die of fright during childhood. But I'm a rationalist. I'm a scientist. My world consists of proven and concrete things. I wish that were true, but unfortunately it seems that's not true. Here we go. Okay, please be the end of this. I... If the timer's still going, I'm fucked. Yeah, I mean, look, look, I, uh, I, I don't understand. I'm fucked. Everything's locked, thank goodness. Nothing can creep in here before morning. My home is my fortress, I wish that were true. I'm gonna keep playing just to see what happens, because now I'm past the point I was before, but I'm pretty sure I'm fucked. I mean, if the timer's still there, then <laughs> I'm dead. I think. God, am I gonna have to replay the game again? If I, by the way, if I do re, ah, screw you. If I do replay it again, by the way, I am not going to record it because now I've already seen that not much changes. 
So yeah, I don't think there's any point in recording it. Even if I find nothing but clocks, which it seems to be giving me clocks, I still can't possibly finish this soon enough. I have like 20 seconds left on my timer. It's a little... It's gone. It's gone. The timer's gone. I'm trying to think of how I can shave off time if I have to replay, which, oh god, is right above me. Which I probably will. The only two things I think I can do is, one, don't search for the girl in the woods. That won't save much time, but it'll save a little bit. And also, don't fuck up, because I messed up one day like three or four times. And entered the, uh, entered the eye, the endless hallways once as well. That's not that much time I can shave off, though, really. I mean, you don't have much breathing room at all. Oh. Wonderful. It's great that almost restarted the day. Didn't quite, though. Oh, look, there's something in the room next to me. Do you see it? I see it. Shall I open the door? Is that something on the other side? Is that one of those doors that's... Is that one of those doors that's gonna take me to a place? Yeah, okay. It does it every time I open it. Nope. It's gonna take me to that hallway. Oh, there's that bouncy thing! Which can bounce down. Look at that thing. What the fuck is it? Why? Hi. The hell? He thinks that he's tearing up the diary in his sleep. He feels that while he sleeps, he's eating up his own life. Okay, there it is. I can't go anywhere. I can't go up and I can't go down. Well, this is an interesting situation. I think I'm going to be here for the rest of the night. Well, folks, um... Have you had a good day today? What did you have for breakfast? I had soup. It was, uh, it was like a potato cream soup. It was pretty good. Yep, that was good soup. Um, tonight I'm making pizza. It'll be very good. Homemade pizza's awesome. It's very cheap to make, in case you didn't know, and pretty damn easy as well. Yeah. See any good movies lately? I haven't. I haven't watched a single movie in months. For some reason. I don't know. Watching movies is just not an off thing for me, you know? Hmm. I'm running out of stuff to talk about. Um... Um... I don't... I, am I seriously going to stay here? On the... On these stairs for the rest of the day? I believe I am. I could go up. She probably wouldn't kill me. But then it would just jump up and I would be screwed. So... Yeah. I'm not sure whether to cut this out or just keep talking. What can I even say? I, I literally don't know what to say. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna cut this out. I'll be right back when I'm done. Alright, welcome back everyone. I've spent the past, like, 
four minutes or so on these stairs, and it's about to be daybreak. Come on. Come on, what's gonna happen? Here we go. I'm pretty sure I'm fucked again because of the timer, but... It is past the day I was at before, so... Something new should happen. Oh, here we go. The morning came. In this game, you need to move time forward, and the sooner the game ends, the better it is for everyone. The sooner the game ends, the better it is for everyone. Well, I tried. I tried to end it as soon as possible. I, look at how fucking close I am. I think I'm screwed, though. I think that's it. I'm not going to be able to go out the front door. I can't go out the front door on the last day, I think. Mm. Oh, hi. I'm going to go out the front door and I'm going to go crazy. I think. Maybe. Maybe not. Look look at the time in the top left. It's already... It's all the way done. And it's wobbling. Okay, I'm holding out hope. Wait a minute. If the time's already advanced all the way, then why do it again? What's going to happen when I do that one? Hmm. Strange. Maybe I'm not screwed. Maybe. It's pretty likely I'm screwed. Hold on. Hold on. What if I can collect diary entries? Hmm. I didn't do it. It happened here in this very forest, in this very home. And this room creeps me the hell out because of that crumpled blanket in the corner. You need to tidy up the house. Time to welcome the guests. It's the same kind of notes I got before when I was screwed, so pretty sure I'm screwed. I could read the diary entries by going to the front door, but what's the point? I've already read them. Nah, eh, screw it. I'm just going to the clock. Okay. Achievement unlocked. Pagerian, whatever that means. Am I control? These are the credits. Yeah, I'm, I'm in control. What? And the credits just disappeared. Oh! <laughs> That's really clever. If you stop, he remembers and sees the credits. Um, does that say the sound was done by Mushroomer? What? That can't be a real name, right? Whoa, this is so cool. What are these symbols? Well, can I find the home? Or what? Let's see if there's anything in this forest. It's so strange. I have a feeling I'm not going to find anything. But I'm going to keep looking. Hold on, are the credits still playing? Concentrate. Yes, they are.
Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's nothing here. Other than just, well, an endless forest and strange symbols in the trees. It's funny, though, with Ice Pick Lodge games, I never trust them to be what they look like they are. Their games. Like, this looks like... It's a forest. And there's no buildings, and it's just a bunch of symbols, and that's it. But I wonder, like, if I just go to the right for a half hour, will I find something? I wonder. And also, why did the symbols disappear? The symbols are gone. Does that mean something? With their games, I'm always wondering if something means something. If it has some sort of a deeper meaning. Yeah, pretty sure there's nothing. I wonder if what the forest looks like is controlled by how far in the credits you are. Maybe when you get to the end of the credits, you'll find the house. Let's see where the credits are at. Alright, I don't know who those people are, but... Since it's such a strong list, I'm assuming they're probably... Maybe the Kickstarter backers? Probably Kickstarter backers. I think that's pretty much the only way you get such a, l a large list of people. Even if they were playtesters, I don't think they had... I don't think they'd have that many playtesters. It's gotta be donators. Well, that list could go on for a very long time. Except I think it just... Oh. A, B, C, D, E. I just realized it's only on the E's. Okay, let's keep going. I'm not leaving this forest until the end of the credits. I want to know if there's something here. Is it still on the E's? Nope. It's past the E's. That's good. It's on the J's. Man, that font is really hard for me to read. I can barely read those names. It's going to be pretty close to the end of the credits at this point. I mean, the end of the the backers, at least. Or the L's. Just keep venturing forth in the dark forest. Just listen to the hypnotic walking sounds. Okay, well, I will say so far, I guess I'll kind of give a sort of wrap-up. I mean, I'm not really done with the game yet. Or at least I'm not sure if I'm done with the game, so that's why I'm hesitant to give a wrap-up of any sort. But I will say, I hope there's more to the end. Because that was a very unsatisfying ending. It was like a, what, like a 15-second video and that's it? Like, that'd really be it? I'm like 99% sure that there's multiple endings to this game. It's pretty much a sure thing at this point. So I really want to go back. Like, my timer ran out. 
Somehow I managed to complete the game anyway. It seems like I survived. But the timer ran out. I guess I had advanced the time forward enough that it was okay, but the timer was still running. I'm guessing something different happens if you manage to finish the game completely when the timer is still there. We still have some time left. So that's one thing to try. And also, again, I mentioned that I think if you connect, uh, collect enough fragments, whatever those are, I'm not even sure what a fragment is, but if you collect enough fragments, something different will happen with the looming threat that's watching over your home, coming closer to it. It's um, different based on some screenshots that I've seen. I don't know if it affects the game or if it's purely visual. But it is different. So there's almost certainly different endings. I think at this point I might just read spoilers for the game and just figure out some of the different things I can try. Maybe read some interpretations, because I, um, I think I'm pretty much finished with going into this game with no prior knowledge and without spoiling, spoiling anything. Because I already played it once and then got stuck, and now I've played it again and I've actually finished it. So... I don't think I have the... F the patience to play it again without having any idea what I'm doing. Because it seems like things aren't very different. Um, followers. Oh, that's probably different, like, Kickstarter tiers or something. Oh god, how many are there? Oh god. I guess I'll just give my wrap up here. Yeah, okay, I'll just give my wrap up here. Because this is going to go on for a very long time. It's back to the A's. Oh dear god. There's probably nothing after the credits, but I will check. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, I don't think I have the patience to go through the whole thing again. Because, as you saw, well, if you, well, I guess if you watched the previous video, you saw that not much was different. I saw one new enemy type, and that was about it. So it's not really interesting to play through again. Until you get to a part that's different. So I don't really feel like doing that again. So yeah, I am going to spoil it for myself. I can read some guys and whatnot, read some tips, read some interpretations, and probably come back after this with alternative endings or something like that. Assuming there are alternative endings, which I'm not sure of, but I'm pretty sure of. We'll see. So I'm almost certainly going to come back with another video, at least another video. So overall, how do I feel about this game? Well... It is surprising just how playable and comprehensible it is for an Ice Pick Lodge game. Which, if you're not familiar with their stuff, this you may be surprised by that. You may think, wait, this was comprehensible? Well, sort of. Compared to their previous work, yes. Relatively speaking, it is much more comprehensible. Much more understandable and playable than their previous work, by far, without a doubt. And I like it. Again, I've, I've appreciated all of their games because of how unique of a company they are and how unique what they create is. They make fascinating stuff, but this is the first one I've actually played all the way through, and actually pretty thoroughly enjoyed. I like that. I, I hope their future games continue to be playable by me. And not just strange oddities, because as much as strange oddities are nice to look at and go, wow, that is really interesting. It would be nice if they were actually playable by me. I mean, they are playable, but you know what I mean, like, I... I want them to work as games. They need to make some sort of sense. I don't want them to just be, like, pieces of art that you just kind of stare at but aren't interested in actually engaging with. I want to actually engage with them. I want to actually play them and have that be satisfying. And this is the first one that actually is. Sort of. It's got some problems. And let's talk about those problems. I'm going to start with the good. So, I mean, start with the... Never mind. Start with the bad. The things I didn't like so that I can end with the good. So, bad stuff. Let's see. One, two, three... Okay, I have three major complaints for the game. Number one is the game allows you to get into a position where you, you are completely screwed and cannot finish the game. That's not the complaint. That's, that's just a fact. The game allows you to do that. That's okay. I'm okay with that. 
However, if you allow the player to get into a position where they're screwed like that and they can't finish the game and they have to restart it from scratch, there are two important things you need to do. One, you need to tell the player that they are screwed and they need to restart. They did not do that. They left me hanging and I spent like a half hour going through the house thinking maybe I could solve something somehow, but it turns out I couldn't. Don't do that. That's just a waste of my time. It's stupid. Tell me that the game is over. The game is obviously not afraid of telling you that the game is over, as you saw, because when you walk out the door, it literally says, Game Over. So instead of waiting for you to walk out the door and saying Game Over every single time, when you do that, why didn't it just say Game Over as soon as the timer ran out? Or something, anything, to tell me that I was wasting my time. Anything. So that is one of the things you need to do. Tell the player. Maybe even just force them to restart. Either force them to restart or simply tell them that they need to restart. One of the two. That is one of the things you need to do. Tell them. Because I'd wasted my time. Secondly. Again, there's nothing necessarily wrong with having to replay the entire game. So long as... Replaying the game is actually an interesting, satisfying experience. It was not. Replaying the game... Everything was... Almost every single thing was the same. Just about the only thing that was different... Was... A new enemy type. A new guest. That's basically it. That is That does not make for a satisfying... Replaying. This game, frankly, has very simple gameplay mechanics. It's very simple. Just hide behind stuff, avoid them, find clocks. Go up and down stairs, turn on and off the lights, and that's pretty much it. It, uh, it doesn't allow for any sort of deep strategy. So despite the fact that it has randomization, the randomization, you know, if it had deep strategy, the randomization could throw enough interesting things into the mix that when combined with a deep strategy could make it interesting to replay. But again, there's not. Even though it is randomized, there's very little strategizing. It's very simple. And there's very little that was actually different. So, yeah, those are the two things the game did wrong. It, it wasted my time at the end by not just simply telling me I needed to restart. I had to look it up on Steam forums. I had to go digging through spoilers in the Steam forums to figure out what the hell I was supposed to do. That's bad. That's really bad. That seriously harms the gameplay experience of the player. And the second problem was that replaying the game is not terribly interesting. Thankfully, it's fairly short. And if you know what you're doing, you can get through the main game in like an hour and a half, two hours. But still, it's not that interesting. So that's one of the complaints. Uh, complaint number two. Wait, hold on. Can I remember them? That was one. The end. The, the other is what? Wait, I thought I had three complaints, but now I can only remember two. Uh-oh. I'm forgetting things. No. Hold on. Let me let me close my eyes and remember. Let me see if I can make it appear. Nope. Didn't work. Okay. Well, one of my other complaints is that the ending, or I maybe I should say one ending, because there's probably others, the one that I just got is very unsatisfying. I played through all of that, had to replay all of that, Got to the end, and then there's like a 15-second video, and that's it. Okay, great. Like, that's it? Really? Very unsatisfying. I think that's about it. I thought I had a third complaint, but I can't remember it. Hmm. Strange. Okay, well, let's talk about the good. It has wonderful art. Extremely good art. Very, it's a very unique style. And it looks wonderful. I've just never seen a game like it. It's this like layered 2D side-scrolling look with a mixture of sort of 3D environments with normal kind of textures on them and all of that. And then also these 2D elements like furniture and stuff are just 2D. Very strange and very good looking. Very good looking. Ooh, I think the credits are about... To end. Hold on, what's about to happen? Okay, I'm gonna... I'm, pa I'm pausing the wrap-up to see what happens. Credits are... Okay. What if I concentrate again? Will they show up? No. 
Will I find anything in the forest now? Am I stuck? Wandering an endless forest for the rest of my life? I'm gonna explore for a little bit, see if I can find a building or something. I don't think I'll be able to, though. Hmm. Is this like a commentary on what happened? I went out the door and I'm stuck in an endless forest? Or what? But then again, the video that showed at the end made it look like I had uh, been successful. And for some reason, the achievement that I got was called Pagerian, whatever that means. I have no idea what that means. I don't think there's anything here. Nope. Concentrate. No credits? No credits. Okay. Like I was saying. Yeah, I was talking about the art style. Very good art. Just really wonderful. Very unique and extremely detailed. Yeah, Ice Pick Lodge has always been... Has always had excellent artists. Their game has... Their games have... Very strange and creepy and dark and disturbing and incredibly well-detailed art. And this is no exception. It is a beautiful, disturbingly beautiful game. Let's see, what else? Wonderful sounds. Wonderful sound design. The sounds in the house, everything from your footsteps to the creepy footsteps above you or to the left of you, somewhere else in the house, the slamming doors, the sound of stuff rustling about. Every enemy had its own distinct sounds. Extremely well detailed and well done sounds that really added to the creepiness of the house. Let's see what else. That's graphics and sound. Okay. Um, the story... Well, what is there to say about the story? It's fascinating. It's... Uh, it's typical with Ice Pick Lodge games that they don't have concrete stories that you can just say, oh yeah, X, Y, like A, B, and C happened, and then the end. They're never like that, ever. This one is no different. It's not super obvious to me exactly what happened. However, it's also the most comprehensible story-wise game that they've done. It is far more comprehensible than their last ones, and it actually has... I feel like it has enough there that you can actually get some... I feel like I can actually get some reasonable interpretations out of the information that I've been given. I don't have enough to figure out exactly what happened. But I have some ideas. Like... Especially all the diary entries talking about the program, right? Coming for the children? To take them somewhere? It seems like the... Thing. The monster looking over the house is maybe, like, uh, supposed to represent the program coming for me, or coming for the children. You know, the looming threat? Time's running out? Need to hide? And those are all elements that were used in the gameplay, hiding, and time running out, and things like that. So, as for exactly what happened, I don't know. There's tons of possible interpretations. He had a son, and it, sound like, it sounds like he was taken away by the program. So maybe this is him later, after his son's been taken away. He's never seen him again. And now he's having nightmares about, about what happened. But then there's the invisible one, right? The one that was staying in my home. What is that? I don't know. Is it a child? Is it a monster? What? He mentioned bonding with it. And he kept, he kept talking about taking it out for walks and stuff like that, as if it was like a, a dog. And not a person. But he said he bonded with it. So I don't think he hated it. I don't know. There's so many possible interpretations you could make. And I'm guessing, when I read more about the game, uh, the story's probably going to become more clear. 
reading other people's interpretations and alternative endings and stuff like that. So let's see, the good, I've talked about the sound, the graphics, the story. Which is good. It's honestly, it's it's not as concrete as I would like, but I think that is, that's not really a criticism. It's more down to taste, I think. I'm someone who tends to like fairly literal stories. I tend to not like things that have tons of possible interpretations. Like, I'm okay if there isn't a concrete interpretation, but I want there to at least be a semi-solid possible interpretation. Like, I don't want interpretations to have to be kind of, like, random. There's got to be something, like, you know, some mildly concrete interpretation for me to be satisfied. And this definitely falls short of that, but that's not a criticism. That's, that's just a taste thing. What else is there to talk about? There's got to be more. There's gotta be more. Remember. Remember. I don't know, let's just talk about the overarching experience. My overarching experience with the game. It's strange. As I said before, it would be strange. Everything Ice Pick Lodge has ever made has been strange, and this is no exception. It's a fascinating experience, because I don't even know exactly what I just experienced. I don't know exactly what just happened, but... What I really like about it is it feels like I've just been thrown, I've been thrust into this bizarre, nightmarish world with no idea what the hell is going on or how to play. And I think that's kind of brilliant. It's nice, they don't hold your hand. Ice Pick Lodge never holds your hand. Beyond the simplest of things in the beginning, she's just showing you what keys to press to do what. Beyond that, they don't tell you what the hell to do, what you're really supposed to be doing. And it's just kind of left open as to what you want to do. Or how you want to take it. I think that's very cool. It's certainly a memorable memorable game. Because there's nothing generic about this game, or any game they've ever made. They're about as unique as you can get. It's just a night, strange, nightmarish experience. Filled with... This terrifying imagery. And these terrifying events. And I don't know what to make of them. And I think that really adds to the creepiness, not being able to understand it. Because that is a key part of horror. That's a key part of what makes things disturbing, is the stuff you don't understand. And I barely understand anything that just happened. I don't know what the guests are. I don't know who the girl is. I don't know what I'm hiding and seeking from. Although I'm pretty sure I'm hiding from the program. Assuming the program is even a real thing, I don't know. Maybe that's part of the nightmare. I don't know. I just don't know. So ultimately, I think because of my taste, it's somewhat unsatisfying. Because I tend to like concrete stories, but it's also a very interesting experience. I'm glad I've played it, and like I said, I'm going to read different interpretations. And unlock, by Bi unlock, unlike Bioshock Infinite, I am actually going to do it this time. I'm actually going to read alternative interpretations of what happened. I'm going to read about different endings. If there are different endings, which there probably are, and if there are, I'm probably going to see at least some of them, so... I'm not promising anything, because it depends on what I find out, but there's a very good chance that I will make more videos, at least one more video, about this game. If I can find interesting new things to show or talk about. So, I think that about wraps it up. Um, can I... I just press escape, does it just go to the menu? Yeah. Okay. I hope everyone enjoyed my playthrough of Knock Knock, Who's There?